Nissan has confirmed that its second-generation Leaf electric car, which will be fully revealed on September 6, will feature new semi-autonomous driving functions included a new automated parking system as part of the Japanese brand's ProPilot tech. Nissan's ProPilot suite of assists and semi-autonomous will enable the Leaf to drive itself on highways and motorways. At the push of a button the new Leaf will drive itself in a single lane, controlling the steering, acceleration and braking to assist the driver. It's the latest step in Nissan's goal to develop autonomous vehicles. The firm promises that in the coming years the technology will offer increasing levels of autonomy, with autonomous driving in urban environment targeted as the next big step. The teaser image released with the new information shows us the new digital instrument display heading the way of the 2018 Leaf, but this isn't our first look in the cabin thanks to a brand new batch of spy shots, capturing the new Leaf undergoing assessment by engineers in the United States. Nissan Leaf Spy Shots The next generation Nissan Leaf has already been spot testing in the United States, the pictures serving up our best look yet at Nissan's smarter looking new electric car. The Leaf's rounded face has been replaced with a sharper front end, more in tune with Nissan's conventional design language. The overall form factor of the car remains the same though, so from the side it retains its tall roof touchback profile. Our spy photographers were able to get a glimpse in the cabin too, revealing the new switch gear, dashboard and infotainment heading the way of the 2018 Leaf. A full reveal is expected at the Tokyo Motor Show later this year. Nissan has started its launch campaign for the next generation Leaf, ahead of an expected reveal at this year's Tokyo Motor Show. The electric family hatch is set to follow the design direction of the new Micra, and it will receive a range increase over today's model. It's clear that the new Leaf will be influenced by the firm's 2015 IDS concept, and will employ the design direction of the new Micra. Fewer clues are found around the back, but it is clear that new horizontal tail lights are planned. We will have a full model change of Leaf before the end of this decade, Shiro Nakamura, Senior Vice President and Chief Creative Officer at Nissan, revealed exclusively to Auto Express last year. We are ready to increase the range, 250 km is not the maximum. We want to make Leaf the major player in the EV market. We will have updates to the design, and we will be updating the batteries. We want to expand the possibilities as much as we can. Matching the 500 km range, which manufacturers such as Tesla and Audi have demonstrated, is also not a technical problem, it's cost, senior figures at Nissan also confirmed. A reduction in cost and increase in battery density will coincide with the arrival of the new Leaf, meaning a 300-mile range is not out of the question. It's likely Nissan will make a range of battery options available to buyers to help minimize the overall starting price of the model range too. Nissan will also look to give the Leaf a more conventional look to help broaden its appeal, for styling, how can I say, we make it look a little bit more mainstream, because we want to grow the number, Nakamura told us. It will be the same package, we don't want to change the hatchback. While we improve the Leaf, at the same time the charging infrastructure is improving. In a couple of years the advantage of an EV will be much better than today. Nissan may have more electric family cars in the pipeline. Last year we reported that the firm could look to introducing a new electric super mini to rival the Renault Zoe in the near future. What do you think of the new Nissan Leaf? Let us know in the comments. As the company that pretty much created the crossover segment with the cash car in 2008, nearly 50,000 bought here since, Nissan has no intention of relinquishing its grip. So now we get a facelifted version of the second generation model. It goes on sale this month. A new X Trail with many similar updates arrives in early 2018. The latest Cash Claw looks quite different, with a new front face based on Nissan's V Motion grille, new bumpers and headlights. The rear also gets LED lights and revised bumpers. Inside there are higher quality, more tactile materials, while the seats are more comfortable. There's an improved infotainment system, with the possibility of an 8-speaker Bose sound system specifically engineered for the car. A major objective was to cut noise, vibration and harshness NVH, by using more sound insulation material inside the front doors, behind the rear wheel arches and thicker glass on the rear door. 
ride and handling have also been tweaked. The steering has less vibration thanks to a new dynamic damper and there's a new technology called active return control that returns the steering to center more naturally. Among safety elements now are rear cross traffic alert, while intelligent emergency braking has pedestrian recognition. Also new is Stand Still Assist SSA, which supplements Hill Start Assist HSA, on cars with a manual transmission. A new technology from early next year will be the first stage of autonomous driving. ProPilot will control the steering, acceleration and braking in a single lane on motorways during heavy traffic congestion and high-speed cruising. Engines are carried over, the only change being to the 1.6-litre diesel, which is quieter thanks to powertrain's calibration improvements. You can choose from 1.2-litre petrols. 2WD, or 1.5 and 1.6 liter diesels in 2WD or 4WD. Trim levels are as before albeit with broader standard equipment. Entry level XE now has LED daytime running lights. SV add shark fin antenna and privacy glass, new seat and door trims and new 17 in alloys. SV Premium includes semi-leather seats, hologram-style front badge and the option of by LED headlights, while range topping SVE now comes with those by LED lights as standard, black Napa leather seats, lots of silver finish parts and the option of the Bose sound system. All that extra equipment comes at a cost, so expect to pay between 700 to 2000 more than the outgoing car depending on spec. For most people, there's really no such thing as a regular Aston Martin, but even for those who have no problem affording any of the British sports car manufacturer's production cars, the Vulcan is pretty out there. The Aston Martin Vulcan is one of the fastest and rarest cars in the world today, and it's a model that's simply bursting with superlatives. However, if the Trek only 820 horsepower supercar that's limited to a run of just 24 units still isn't quite special enough for you, Aston Martin is now offering an AMR Pro performance pack that has technology sourced from the company's Le Mans winning race cars. The basic Vulcan is already a staggering piece of automotive engineering with a naturally aspirated 7.0-liter V12 made it to a six-speed sequential transmission, which is housed in a body that's as visually stunning as any performance car we've seen to date. To make the car even more special and to perform even better than it already does, the AMR Pro Performance Pack can now be specified. But although the performance upgrade packages we see for lesser cars include things such as bigger superchargers or turbos and other engine enhancements, the package for the Vulcan is largely aerodynamic. The Vulcan AMR Pro model's upgrades are mostly designed to help channel air over, under, and around the car more efficiently, while the other notable change is a shorter gear ratio. The whole aim of the upgrade is to make the Vulcan AMR Pro more planted and more responsive than the regular Vulcan, in order to reduce those all-important lap times. Aston Martin states the enhancements made by the package increase the Vulcan's downforce from 2,323 pounds FT to 2,950 pounds FT. That really is a massive increase for any car, let alone one that was already packed with cutting-edge aerodynamics. For an idea of just how extreme the performance upgrade is delivered by these aerodynamic enhancements, the Le Mans class winning Aston Martin Racing Vantage GTE boasts just 2,290 pounds FT of downforce. Even the Vulcan without the AMR Pro Performance Pack is very much a track-only model with no limits and no restraints, which doesn't worry about complying with any regulations. It's therefore not designed to compete in any designated race series just to go around a track at frightening speed. With the AMR Pro Pack, those 24 owners can now go around the track even faster, as long as their driving skills are up to it, of course.